Hi, Cancer Gang. Hi, sisters and bros. Welcome to the heat. <laughs> Hi, my name is Crystalline Light. Well, my channel's name is Crystalline Light. I'm Charlotte. Thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And I'm sorry I look like, I don't know what. I'm just glad I'm not melting. I do not care for makeup right now or my hair. I wish I could do my videos naked, but I can't. So this is going to be for Cancer. Cancer, this is going to be your mid-August reading. I have a little bit of astrology here. I have written for us. I say us because I'm a Cancer son. So Cancer, we had Mercury in our sign. I think Mercury just went into Leo or is about to go into Leo. And Venus is coming into our sign. And Mercury did a retrograde in our sign. So and then, you know, it was our year. It was the beginning of our year. We had our solar return. So big cycle, you know, every time your solar return comes around, it's like a rebirth almost because you, it's like the beginning of a new year for us, right? Or for any sign for that matter. Now it's Leo's time. So we have um, Venus on our sign. It's coming in our sign if it's not already. And then Mercury goes into Leo. So Venus is the planet of love, right? And uh, self-nurturing, it's the rule of Taurus and Libra. So we've done a lot of self-nurturing. I think a lot of healing with all the eclipses we've had and across from us as well, we have Capricorn doing where there's a lot of action going on there. It's been going on. And for the past two years, we've been having eclipses, you know? For the past year, we've been having eclipses, right? Either in our sign or across from us. So we have in Leo, our second house, Mercury, like I said, the sun and a new moon in Leo coming up. So I feel like uh, there's a lot of passion, ignition, fire energy, um, sexiness, feeling different, feeling heated, you know, sexual, very sexual, very hunger, you know, it's very sexual energy. Then we have Sagittarius in our sixth house, and it's the south node that's there, and it's, like I said, changing appearance, um, working out, changing our hair, our diet, our body, just feeling in touch with our god goddess energy and feeling confident about ourselves, looking, feeling good, you know, and people noticing it as well, and even more with Venus entering our sign now. Then we have Capricorn in our seventh house. We have Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn uh, in retrograde. So relationships, right? It's our seventh house. So I think a lot of us are putting ourselves out there because we feel confident. So we might be little social bees right now, whether literally going out, which I don't think that's really the case, maybe for some of you. But especially, definitely, we're, 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 we're mingling, we're, we're out there. Whether on the net, we're meeting people, we're talkative, we're very explorative, we want to know more, we're excited, so that's really good, okay? So old, new relationships, right? We're reconnecting, basically. Then we have Aquarius in or eighth house we had the full moon on the third so it's like we're wrapping up last little things that we had to wrap up maybe these old relations that relationships that are coming back we're finally like mending or putting them to bed once and for all um we're wrapping up little details little 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 things that need to be wrapped up for good now just little residual things because we feel great for sure. And so we're going to do it well because we're not threatened. We're not emotional. We don't feel, we feel good. We feel good. Okay. It's going to be easy peasy. No animosity, no aggressivity, no manipulation. We could be manipulative sometimes, but you know what I mean? We feel good. So it's just going to be bridge under the water, water under the bridge. Sorry. Then we have Pisces in our ninth house, Neptune retro, change of beliefs, um, systems, exploring, like I said, it's almost like we've been through so much. It's almost like we just reborn. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. And it's like a baby for the first time opening its eyes and it's like seeing for the first time. We're excited. We want to take all on the world. You know, we're excited about everything. Food, little things we need 
that we, we didn't notice before because we were going through it. Now we're excited again. So it's like we're open. So, so infinite possibilities are around us to seize, and that's exciting, okay? In Aries, our 10th house, we have Mars and Chiron. So independence. We want our financial independence. Um, we're looking for jobs. Maybe we're starting our own businesses. We are dedicating our energy, um, our passion towards something that really matters to us. And we're combining both, not only the passion, but the intelligence and the, the, the pentacle energy of something that not only we love, but also brings us cash, right? We want to do something we love that ignites us inside, you know, that makes us passionate, but also brings income. And that's what we're looking into with this Aries um, energy, this Mars energy in Aries, which is our 10th house, which is legacy, right? Foundation. We're building new foundations, fruitful foundations, okay? Now, um, Taurus is our 11th house with Uranus. So again, networking, we're putting ourselves out there. Uranus is like the disruptor. He's like in no innovation. And being in Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, it's about love, what you love, your passion, who you want around you, what makes you feel good, stuff you want around you. We are all about the home. Maybe some of you are revamping your house. Maybe some of you are buying art pieces or just changing the furniture around. It's like you're revamping inside and out, Cancer, because you feel good. You've done the work. You've, it's like a transformation. And therefore, it shows outwards. So, and, and you want it. It, you know, it like it influences everything around you. Not only your body. So you're changing your appearance, working out. You know, maybe your hair. You know, just taking care, self nurturing, and then also in the home. You know, maybe you're buying flowers for yourself. Um, maybe you're buying candles. You know, it's like you feel good, Cancer, and that's a lovely. Gemini, twelfth house, North Node. So again, curiosity, expansion. Gemini is about the mind, learning, right? Short distance travel. I mean, we can't travel, right? So um, it's about wisdom, learning. So maybe you're doing research again, right? Taking up a craft. It's really good energy, Cancer. I love it. I feel it. I feel it. I do. Okay, let's get into it, Cancer. This is the Crystal Power Terror by Jimmy Wallace. See what we have for you, Cancer. Mid August, Cancer Spirit. What's it for Cancer? Exploration. Spirit, what's it for Cancer, please? One. Ooh, when I shuffle the cards, it kind of fans me. That's amazing. A little breeze comes through. I have the fan on it. I'm not doing much. Anyway. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Cancer mid August, please? I'm not going to be doing reversals today or for this series, this mid August at all. Sometimes when I'm called to do reversals, I do. Today, I'm not. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Cancer? Mid August, Cancer. Cancer. Ooh, that jumped. Let's see. Three of Pentacles collaboration. Like I told you guys, you guys are out there collaborating, networking. I love it. Yep. Showing your work to people, being curious about what they're doing, trying to see if you can come up with something together. You know, I love it. Again, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of Cups, guys. I told. This is crazy. Networking. Didn't I say ne networking? Cancer is a networking crab right now. And I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. It's almost like you're, you're bringing people towards you. Right? You're standing out, for sure. People want to be around you. They're calling you, connecting with you, want to work with you. Three, three. That's expansion, too. So, Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Joyful opportunities are coming your way because you are joyful and you are balanced and you are just feeling good. Therefore, you're, you're attracting that. Supportive people are coming, want to work with you. Oh, my God. 
Cancer. Ten of Cups. This is the ultimate fulfillment. This is having people around you that support you, whether it's family, friends, connections. Cancer, I'm telling you. Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is, this is total happiness. Look at this. Nine of Swords. You deserve it. This is all the work you've been through. Fear. And you might fear. You might be, oh my God, what's going on? This is a lot. This is the nightmare card. Nine of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius being in your head. But I think that this is the energy you moved away from because you feel good. So you trust the moment. You trust the present moment. You know that this is the universe gifting you because you worked hard. You see clearly now. You're no longer going to give into that. You are going to know who is, you know, your three of cups and who is not your three of cups, who has your back, who's creating you stress, and who's not with you. I think this is what this nine of swords is, okay? What else do we have? Seven of cups, yep, you're not going to give into the confusion. You're going to identify which one of these cups is your three and is going to lead you to your ten. That's what you're doing. You're not going to give into confusion. You're not going to give into this confusion that creates restless nights, being in your head, anxiety. You're no longer going to be doing that. You see clearly now. Didn't I say you see clearly now? And then the seven of cups came out. You trust yourself and your truth. You're no longer, you know, going to be stuck in the past. In your past, you know, whatever happened in the past is in the past. That lesson was learned. You're going after your ten of cups. You're surrounded and will only be surrounded by people that have your back that are vibrating at your level, that support you, okay, and whom you can grow with, and, and period. That's it. You're no longer gonna give in to that fear, nine of swords, and you, you trust yourself. You know this is, you deserve this, Cancer. You do, okay? One last card spirit. This is beautiful, so much cup. You're in, Cancer, you're in your element. Three cups, and what cups? Oh my God, three of cups, 10 of cups, seven of cups. Cancer, you're feeling good. You're balanced. Oh my. Cancer, I just had shivers. <sighs> Ten of pentacles. Sorry, nine of pentacles. Wish fulfillment. Listen. This is because you're nurturing yourself. You're not going to let anybody take away this happiness. You worked so hard. This, you worked hard for this, Cancer. Nine of Cups, I mean, Nine of Pentacles. This is feeling good, independent, knowing your worth. Um, having a clear mind, clear vision, clear set goals, knowing how to get there. Just almost knowing you're blessed and knowing that you can accomplish anything you want on your own. If other people want to come in and they are here to support you, you know, and they can collaborate with you, Great, let's do that. Because you are going for your Ten of Pentacles here. You don't have time to be in Nine of Swords energy, Seven of Cups energy, confusion, fear. No, you're only going to be with people that are happy-go-lucky, hardworking, with a vision. You're going for the vision. You are networking, and you want your Nine of Cups. And you don't have time for anybody who's not in this energy of joy, and accomplishment and, 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 and determination and vision. Cancer. This is beautiful. Wow. Whoa. And you're about to get your Ten of Cups because you have the Nine of Pentacles and you're about to get your Ten of Cups. These people you are going to meet now, Cancer. You will have discernment. I'm not going to say be careful boundaries. No, because you, you're in your element. Your intuition is like lit on point it's almost like you you, act, you can actually read people's minds i'm gonna say that okay so you can you know what they think before they even say it so i'm not gonna even say boundaries you're protected you are protected you are protected you are clear and level-headed and you are super 100 percent in your intuition which is you okay and I think that spirit is actually going to cut off anybody who's trying to mess with this energy because this is your, um, you deserve this. This is spirit gifting you this. So no matter what, anybody who's not in line with this will fall out of your life. 
Just, just pay attention. And only people that are going to support you. They're, it's almost like spirit is placing them there in your life because they're part of your path. They're part of your direction. This new um, cycle you've embarked on. Okay? I don't know. Do I want to clarify? Let me clarify this ten of swords. I mean nine of swords. What is that? Spirit, what do we want to add to this nine of swords? Cancer, this is amazing. So many cups. You're in your element. I'm saying you're wow. Not only are you gonna be mingling with beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful people are about to enter your life with whom you're you're gonna build your legacy. It's like I don't even know. I don't even know. It's amazing. All right, Spirit, let's clarify this Nine of Swords for Cancer. Well, that was quick. Look at that. Oh, my God. Shivers again. The devil. Guys, what did I say? Yeah. You, no. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. That's, that's what it is. <sighs> sorry, lust. No, sorry. That's not the devil. That's eight strength. No, 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 no. You've gone through so much. Okay. To... You know what it takes to be in this strength energy? This is somebody who has been through so much nine of swords. And this is people induced. This is people getting in your head. Sometimes it's us doing it to ourselves. But I feel like, Cancer, this was the vamp, the energy vampires that were around you. You picked yourself up beautifully. You had the strength. You believed in spirit. Spirit is so proud of you right now, Cancer. And... This is your reward. You've graduated, Cancer. You've graduated. You have. Okay? And it took a lot of strength. And this is your reward. Anytime it gets tough, when it gets good, it gets, ooh, it gets really good. And for you, Cancer, right now, it's, 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 it's about to get really, really good. And I think it's already started. Okay, Cancer? Wow. Beautiful reading. Mm hmm Let's get an animal oracle. Colette Baron Reed. Cancer. Amazing. So many cups. I'm so taken aback by the cups. It's like it's happy. It's joyful. It's it's very it's really, really, really positive energy, Cancer. What a reading. Spirit, what's up for cancer, please? Beautiful connections are coming your way if they haven't started already. Beautiful. Yep, Krabby. I don't think you're going to be in your home long. We usually like to stay home and everything. Well, yeah, it's the corona, but uh, I don't know. I feel like you're even, it's like you're just happy. And I think uh, even online, you're talking to people. You're just enjoying yourself, and people, if they just call you, and then even an email, social media, people you have common interests with, three of pentacles are connecting with you. It's like magical. So it says, sometimes life stings. This is the sting you got over, the eight of swords. I mean, eight of, um, sorry, it's like, sometimes life stings. This is that sting that you got over. This is the past, and now, you had the strength to get out of this. This is like past energy. It's almost like spirit is showing me this to contrast all this goodness here. I'm going to move them over here. I don't want this to touch it because this is the past. It's the past. Sometime life stings. You might have not, you might have thought like, why is this happening when it was happening, when you were going through it? Or maybe some of you still are going through it, but I'm here to tell you, things are about to take a turn cancer and this is what's coming pure beauty so sometimes life stings nine nine of swords and the strength card for this is maybe for some of you that are still going in going through it okay definitely i'm here to tell you get ready then you have the swan look at that pink it's soothing it's love 
Swan is beautiful. It's time for a deep dive. It's a six balance. What For me, this is a transition card here. This is the past, this is the future, and this is the transition card. So for those of you, I feel like some of you are still on this side with the sometime life stings and the trust the present moment and the strength card. And once you dive deep, you will come out on, with all this beauty, Cancer. And some of you have already taken that, that deep dive and you're already on a roll. I totally see that. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful this is. This is self-nurturing, right? This is Venus and Cancer. Yeah, so some of you are about to start the deep dive. You are about to start the deep dive. That will bring you balance again. That will bring you that self-confidence again. That will heal you. So then you can start, you know, taking care of yourself and then feeling good within yourself, knowing that you don't need anyone. And, and then, that's strength, right? That's the strength card. I don't know why they called it lust. That's very weird. Anywho. So, that's why I thought it was the devil. But, um, the strength card. You need to take care of yourself, Cancer. This is time for self-nurturing. Venus and Cancer, that's what it's all about. Because, wow. There's something waiting for you on the other side that is amazing, okay? Amazing. All right. Let's see what else we have. Because Venus in Cancer could be why we have all these cups here. Um, the Sun in Leo and Mercury in Leo. Passion, right? That's also these cups here. Our seventh house, Jupiter, Can Jupiter, uh, Pluto, and Saturn relationships. But whatever, if you guys are going through a breakup, some of you or lost your job, take a deep dive. It's time to heal. Sometimes life stings. Trust that everything is happening for you, not to you. Pick yourself up. Spirit is here with you to protect you. Okay, and. Trust me, soon, 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 you will see everything is just going to turn around. Support, love, recognition, um, admiration, joy, support, money, your dreams, basically. Endless opportunities, infinite possibilities are coming, Cancer. It's beautiful. All right, Spirit, what do we have from the Menage deck for Cancer, mid-August? mid -August. This one. Don't let the past hold you back. Oh, yeah. Okay. South Node in Gemini. What's Gemini? Oh, duh. Is Capricorn is our seventh house. Gemini is our eighth. I mean, sorry, sixth house. Right? What's our sixth house? It's our health. It's also work. It's Virgo energy. It's those people that you've been giving your time and energy to that do not deserve it. That, like I said before, keep you in this uh, nine of swords energy that just keep taking and stinging. One day it's like they're pricking you with a needle and just sucking your blood out. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. And it's time to let them go. Remember I said um, you're wrapping up a few last details with this past full moon in Aquarius that came up because that's our eighth house and eighth house is about death and rebirth, right? Ruled by Pluto, but it's Aquarius for us. So it's us standing up for ourselves and saying no more. And that's, that takes strength, right? That takes strength. But once you cut them off, then you can start deep diving and taking care of yourself, healing yourself, nurturing yourself and get ready for this beauty that's coming here. All right, Cancer. Yeah, it's like I feel like I'm reading for two peop two two groups here. Yeah, the ones that are not um, that are going through it right now, and the ones that are um, on the other side. It's really weird. Let's see what we have for the Sacred Destiny.
I don't even know what pic what picture to put on the thumbnail or or how to call this. Should I just say get ready? I don't know. It's very difficult. Or maybe the three of cups and just say get ready for celebration. That works, right? For both groups. Yeah. All right. Enough. <laughs> Pre order for Cancer, please. From the Sacred Destiny. I feel like this energy is gone. I don't even feel stressed from it. This is so strong here. It like, it wipes it off. So guys, if some of you are in feeling it, you're like, what is she talking about? This is horrible. I feel like my, it's so, when, when you read, when you listen to this reading, that will be the, the detonator. And that will propel you into that deep dive. And once you come out, get ready for this sugar honey that's a lot of cards too many too many cards look at that beautiful there you go I asked Barry, what card am I gonna use I think I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna call it you a beautiful transformation a beautiful transformation cancer and I'm, I'm look I'm called to this I always see the back to, of these cards but it's like doesn't it seem like oh, Phoenix rising it's like it's so ugh, blessed I mean it's the back of the card all the cards have it but I don't know why when I was looking at this I couldn't help but see this because it's the ocean it's you know the Sun the sky is blue and then you turn it around, you have this beautiful transformation with the rose. It reminds me of this deep dive with the, you know, the flowers. You have the solar plexus here, speaking up your truth with the, the throat chakra. Beautiful. And then butterflies at the corner, which is, again, balance, you know, standing your ground. You're protected. I see all that in this card. But it's like it's happening to you, not it's happening for you, not to you. Beautiful unfolding roles. Cancer, this is a beautiful transformation. And for those of you that are going through it, it's you are going to be so blessed and happy and grateful. Okay, once you just soon, once you watch this reading. For those of you who have transformed already, you have transformed beautifully. And if you are asking yourselves, oh my God, is this real? It is, because this is what you deserve. Okay? Beautiful Cancer. I love it. Wow, what a complex reading. Beautiful. I feel it. Beautiful. All right, my Cancerians, I love you guys so much. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help my channel grow. And I will see you end of August for an update. Okay, let me know in the comments if you want to write anything. I will read the comments if you have any, you know, thing you want to share. Okay? I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Self-nurturing. Venus is entering our sign, guys. It's all about self-nurturing, self-care. Be the goddess you are, the god you are. You are worthy. Tap into that power. Strength card. Okay. Beautiful transformation. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye.